Hey guys, welcome to my video. In this video, we're gonna make tower defense tutorial. I'm gonna have it part one and part two. I always want to make this video with you guys. Um, I was young, being very lazy, but I decided I have to make this tutorial happen. I have to make this video happen. So what we're gonna do in this part one, we're gonna create a new project. Then all we are working in this part one is this thing. Then we have nothing to do here in this part one of this video. We're gonna work on this on the part two. We're gonna be creating the object on this part one of this video. So let's start creating some objects. Start by changing the background. Let's change the background to ash or any other better color if you want. For me, I prefer ash as the color I want to use for this video. So ash it is for me. Then let's create the walls. Let's use this tile sprite because it's the best for this kind of project. Name it walls. Ah, create with PSK. Now, in this place, we're gonna make our walls. I'm gonna make my own wall. You can make any any kind of wall you want, but I'm gonna start with making my own kind of walls. I want for this video. It's gonna be just cars, you know, cars in to be a little bit dark. Just yeah, okay. Now I'll catch up with you guys later. Good, and whatever I want, what you want, I'll catch you with you guys later. Okay, done. This is my work. This is my own work. I don't know what yours will look like. I would like to know at the end of this video. I would like you to show me what your wall look like in my disco page. So let's put this thing in. I will show this is how it will look when we are done. But for now, I'll catch up with you guys later because this will take a little bit if I see process the video step with the time. I'm gonna fast forward this place. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Let me cut it. I don't know what yours look like, but this is mine, and I like it. So let's get up things and make the second object of this video. Okay, let's hit apply if you have your tower here. Now apply, draw that tower to the same, and keep it in the center. And all this stuff. Now, maximize. Just set it appropriate to the center so the enemy will see something to smash. Okay, that's good. Mm, this metal is looking a little bit great. Ah, the best of us past year. Okay, let's drag it a little bit down, down something like that. Something like that. I make it smaller. Then I just want the flower to play with the same. I don't know. Small again. Then come on. Okay, let's leave it that way. Okay, good. Good. We use it like this. Okay. Before I move on. I do some tower defense in my last on my test edition when I do before I credited this video. I run it, I would like to show it. This is it. And in I make some changes to my tower too. I make this red, I make this brown so that you just blind. Now what we're gonna create next is the drop boss of the defender, probably. We're gonna create here, yeah, and yeah, it's very easy. It won't take much time, hopefully. Oh god. this drop box now I'll go add an motion do it with PSK very easy just half square something like that make it green 
very dark green or very bright green curvy background we are using now I would just like to do this do this could have used mirror no problem so this. Um, to this okay good this are top boss you might want to do um yeah, it's that stuff again i want to do this corrupt the sprites yeah all these fights apply now dark this down oh, it's not even showing if we use blue blue could have been better blue it's not showing so let's go change it to blue we are using blue okay perfect Blue is good, at least it's showing that is something drop boss. So let's create the other object. The other object we're gonna create is the enemy. Um I have enemy already. If you wanna create enemy or you have anything you wanna use as enemy, if it's, it's good that you use it. If you don't like mine. Now let's name this enemy. to try this all that like I use I'm gonna use it one and two because it's moving okay apply enemy if you wanna create enemy it's your choice but it will save more time using my own because I could create this I drew this on my phone uh, because I don't know how to draw on Photoshop is more time saving now the next thing we're gonna create is the um start point this object will be invincible the start point this object will be invincible but it's very useful for this video just do anything like for me i'm gonna do Now place it on the left side and on the right side. Control, left click, drag to copy. Now done. So next we're gonna create is the life backdrop and the health. So that is very easy to create. Page, okay. Page back top. Now let's read. Read. Save. Apply. Now let's create another one. So that I don't have time you I don't have time for that duplicate this mm -hmm. H pack top but not H you can rename it Out. Now make the health going. So 
sorry for that. Going to save this little love tank. Okay, I don't know why that happened, but let's create it as a new object. It's taking a lot of time because it's just what? I'll we pause the video now, then when I'm done, I'll let you know. Okay, done. The head backdrop and the head drag the same. It's too big. It is a little. If this is disturbing, just lock it better. Make sure you catch the width and the height of it. So reduce this small um, right there. Watch on the height and the width because that's very important. That's what we're gonna use in this. Now remember the height and the width. Come on, lock this. Remember the height of the width. The width is two, two four seven, and the height is seventeen. Okay, now drag it to match the objects as if it wasn't there. Now perfect. Okay, let's put. Okay, perfect. Now next thing we're gonna create is the enemy and this enemy we're gonna have the two versions of the enemy the first version will be the one we drag and when you drag it you put it to this boss when you put it to this boss it creates the next object that's we got creation now I wanted to just pick my formal tank my formal defender but it will be good if we just cut it together again. Okay. So let's name this due to experience. Let's name this defender peak. Don't worry, say the reason. Now duplicate this and create and name this not defender two but defender defender yeah that was okay defender pick and defender the pick we're gonna place it right above just right here Oh, this tank is really, really, really looking. It's really, really looking weird. My former tank is more better than this one. Maybe because I take more time to create it. Now, defender pick this and defender theory defender will be on here. But we're gonna, we aren't gonna put it on here. What will happen is. When we drop it here, you just create this other defender in this drop boss. So let's create now. Next, we create this blade of the tank. Just 
change the size to 10, the width to 10 and the height to 10 and the size. Now click the cycle and drag it from the top to the bottom. Now you can put any color in. For me, I'm gonna use red. Now save this, apply. Now the next object we'll be creating is the invincible gate. This gate will be used for the pathfinding behavior to locate the tower. So let's name this gate. Just change this color to any color. And pro save apply drag this down to the same. We're gonna hide this object later in the game. Put it at this position. Okay. So the next object we're gonna create is the tower life. The test that said tower life. Let's do that by going to test. I mean this age life. So age life and let's put in yes tower life or tower HP yes change the color to white and the size maybe 30 now drag this to this position my good perfect now the next thing I'm gonna create is the info that say game over when our tower get destroyed let's start by going to test again and name this game over info and let's name this caps lock game over and change this to white or any color of your white is no most any color of your choice is no most it to be white but white is the most perfect color in gaming game so change this side to about let me say 50 or 60 let's go 55 or 56 now apply Try this over to the same. Okay, mm, perfect. If you don't like the size, you can change it to be bigger. Now we are done with the creation of the objects. Hooray! Now in the part two, we're gonna create the event. You can see now nothing, nothing has been done here in this part one. In part two, we're gonna work on here. Nothing we're gonna create on the part one. And in part two, I'm gonna explain more on the objects like this one. Why is it facing this way? Why is it, is it facing this way? Because you look by default, the face of objects is facing this way by default. Yeah. So I'm gonna explain that more on the part two. I'm gonna do more of more stuff on the part two, adjusting the objects and working on the events. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you see my new video when I upload it. So thanks.